Sören and myself, we are the hosts of today's fifth part dialogue. We started that dialogue back in 2016 and we are really happy to host it today. Um, actually, the two of us represent two key industries, the home care and industrial formulators industries. The palm kernel oil is key for our business and uh, the discussion today is also key for our business because sustainability plays a vital role. BASF's uh, total palm exposure uh, is roughly 450,000 tons and being such a big player in the industry, we are of course aware of our responsibility regarding the effects of palm cultivation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn because we would like to involve you and we would like to do something like a tech cloud together. Deforestation, transparency is coming up. I would like to introduce my first panelist and uh, it's Julia Bayer. She's a responsible sourcing manager from Bayersdorf. The aim is really to join forces with our peer companies and our suppliers to harmonize um, our demands towards our suppliers for the data collection. Welcome Ariane and she is the project manager of Transitions which is a France-based NGO and uh, it's described as a sustainable development consultancy agency. We're very aligned with the vision um, that uh, certification has to be accompanied by complementary measures, uh, talking of course of monitoring and notably not just monitoring but also engaging on cases of non-compliance and engaging the supply chain, providing support to suppliers to help them towards progress, especially those that are further down the stream um, and more downstream and therefore with less access themselves to um, points of leverage. And Girish is the Sustainability Director Procter and & Gamble and uh, he's responsible for the production and the division of oleochemicals. Warm welcome to Girish, gorgeous to have you in the light. I think one of the key things we follow is the UNGP for human and labour rights and what, and what it says really is that you focus, you know, that you focus your effort in areas that you have the biggest, I would say the biggest impact. And for us, the biggest, you know, the biggest impact really is the migrant labour issue, um, in, you know, in Malaysia. And here with me in the studio, um, Dr. Tobias Oble is sitting here. He is representing BSF in the RSPO and in the High Carbon Stock Approach. So I'm happy to have you here. Warm well, welcome to Tobias. It's all about actions and implementations on the ground, and data can help. But data itself are not a self-fulfilling um, uh, thing in itself. What are the measures to minimize the risk of deforestation for your company? We have actually launched our sustainable palm roadmap now over 10 years ago. And last year we are very proud to have achieved this important milestone of actually sourcing 100% of our palm-based raw materials according to the RSPO mass balance model. I think we are a very similar approach. But there's a couple of kind of things I would like to add, you know. So we, we're a big user of palm kernel oil um, and also of a little bit of, of palm oil. And, you know, clearly we have similar to, uh, to Barstorff, we have a, I would say, a three-pillar approach instead of a four-pillar approach. I think uh, we're very aligned with the vision um, that uh, certification has to be accompanied by complementary measures. Uh, talking, of course, of monitoring and notably not just monitoring but also engaging on cases of non-compliance and engaging the supply chain. I think the technical approaches in order to tackle deforestation has developed uh, quite substantially. Uh, I think the mindset of uh, our customers, of ourselves, of the um, stakeholders in the, in the Palm Arena have developed. I can only encourage also all the participants of this uh, Palm Dialogue if you want to do something on the ground, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be your own supply chain. Yeah, you can do something, join forces and make it happen. We would like to have some ideas of you, which are your priorities. And you can vote or give a ranking between 0, 1 and 10. I think we clearly showed and hopefully demonstrated also to you that there is a clear commitment for us to sustainably source palm oil, palm kernel oil going forward. But that there is also a very strong commitment for us to make sure that we uh, support the supply chain and, uh, and from farmers to consumers and make sure uh, sustainability plays a key role there. It's a clear priority for us that we want to protect the climate and that we care about the environment. And we talked also a lot about deforestation. And with that, we had actually an idea. We wanted to plant a little care chemical forest and uh, we work together with Treatem in that regard. And we will plant for every participant that joined that session here, we will plant a tree 
So this will happen in the next few weeks. We should have around 200 participants, I guess. So we will have around 200 trees. It's a little, little step towards more sustainability, towards a better planet. I enjoyed it. I want to thank again uh, the panelists, uh, you also for facilitating and for guiding us through this discussion. Um, thanks also for everyone out there and to our customers um, joining us on the path to a more sustainable future. BASF. We create chemistry.